Hello, this is Jade the Star with a tutorial for how to edit Otos in VLabeler. So if you're starting a new project, you would hit new project and then select the voice mate. Um, except I've already done that. So I'm actually gonna click from recent. Although, if it's something that you haven't done recently, you can click open and then find the LBP file and click open and it'll open. So, I am going to be focusing on the VCV CVVC Japanese file format and just not even worry about the are are passing. So I'm gonna come over here, type in kanji. I mean a hiragana. It is hiragana, not kanji. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why my brain told me to say that. Anyways, so I'm gonna come here, and I like to scroll until I get to the um, audio to where the file. <laughs> To where the sound begins. Uh, I on this voice bank I had a audio I had a glitch with my recording software, my voice bank recording software, which is Rexstar. Uh, for some reason the background music didn't start started recording when the when the uh, this background music started playing instead of when it's supposed to start recording. So that's why it's clear over here. So I like to start with the offset. I'm going to head it to like right here, which is going to be 4350. I mean, 4250. It's just four three. It's just four three zero zero. So it's right there, right at the start. And I like to put this as close to the end as I can get. And I like to have good round numbers because it is easier than having to deal with the decimals. Oh, the decimals! So next, I'm going to put the pre utterance at a hundred. Overlap at 50 and the fixed at 150. So, on the first file, the, the first part of a file, you want to have it have the overlap at half of the pre utterance, and then every sound beyond that, you want to line it up with your cutoff. So, um, anyways, I'm going to rename the entry, dash, and then I am going to come over here to edit, go down to duplicate, or you can just control D to do it. I, I, I just find it easier to remember to go to edit, down to duplicate, and I'm going to delete the dash. So, this is the starting entry for a VCV or CVVC and this is just a CV <laughs> and then I like to have it where it can read both the entries whether I put whether they're in hiragana or romaji so I'm going to duplicate again dash and then again just ah and then to continue, you would hit duplicate again and paste in the next entry. This is a a e a u a e. So I'm going to paste an a. But I'm actually going to scroll down into my s's, my s my sa sa si sa su 
scroll down to where the audio begins. Come over here, grab a hiragana. In this case, I'm just grabbing sa. And then I'm going to put the overlap here, which is 4750. And then put my pre utterance at 250, which puts the overlap at 125, and fix at 300. And then I take that to where to just before it starts going into that tail. And that's the first entry of this one. So I'm going to go dash sa. And then I'm going to duplicate it as just sa. So this is my CV. And then duplicate it as and put dash sa. And then just sa. And then this is where I'm going to show the difference between a standard VCV and a CVVC. Uh, I guess I already technically showed it. Uh, the VC part is what I'm showing now. So you hit duplicate, put your last vowel, space, your next consonant. So in this case, it's A, space, S. And then you want to set your overlap to this. So 5200 zero, zero. overlap is 100, which is right at the cutoff for the last entry, which is still set to what the last entry, to where the last entry ended. And then you want the pre utterance to be at the very end of the vowel tail. So 500, 200, oops, wrong thing. 200. Now it's one second. Uh, and it's okay to go back and forth on the values, trying to find exactly where you need to place it. And then on my VCs, I tend to put the fixed part really close. So in this case, it'll just be 200. And then this will be set to negative 300. And there you go. And you can right click anywhere and it'll play the file there, whatever part of the file is between two, any two. So the first it'll play is between offset and overlap, then between overlap and pre-utterance, and then pre-utterance and fixed, and then fixed and cut off. And I only do the VC when the specific vowel, for example, this one, the specific vowel sound is ah, is at the beginning. You can do it to where after every, the first instance of every vowel is the VC, sorry, the CV. No, it was VC. And so like, this is C, so E, S, and then this is Su, so U, S, and then this is Se, which is the end of the file. But yeah, that's how you do it. And I am actually going to show a little bit of our of how I auto English and like it is the same between and what I do is kind of the same between VCCV English and our prizing English 
I just need to find an ooh, because that's a good thing, good example. This is actually one that I show in one of my songs, in my demo. That one's actually looking kind of good. But I like to... So something you may have noticed here is I like to position everything where it is a consistent strength throughout and that and and that's because i feel like it gives me more control and now i'm gonna go over to strong which is the, which is neko's power bank uh, i'm doing neko for the example and i'm gonna come over here grab my hiragana and as you can see, this one is landing where it's supposed to. And I'm going to name it dash, delete that. And because I have the arrow in, in my file name, I can just paste the hiragana and not worry about it. So I'm going to place the offset at 600. 600 milliseconds. I'm actually going to see if I can get it closer, and I can. So I'm going to do 175 on my pre utterance to get past that. Which clips, as you can hear, and as you can see. And I'm going to open up my calculator just because it makes math easier and then take this number and divide it in half so 175 divided by 2 is 87.5 so we're going to type in 87.5 and then 225 is where the fixed will go because remember I like to have it just 50 after the pre utterance except when it's going into a consonant and then you place that. Again, I like to keep the strength consistent. That is too far. So I'm just gonna leave it where I put it. And again, you just duplicate, delete the dash. If you want to get Romaji, just duplicate again. Do dash ah and again delete the dash and then you can go on to the next vowel in the sequence which in this case like it was over here is just another ah again here I have my down arrow in this one. I call it pure, but it's really the soft. I'm going to put it, put the overlap, the offset at 1200. And then do that to there, negative 500. And it's just 100. 50, 150, and then rename dash ah, uh. and then again, you just duplicate it until you got everything you want. And yeah, that's how you do it.